I am Dr. Sharjeel and today we are showing you this 50 years old male who presented to us uh, with a history that uh, he was working uh, in his shop and suddenly a red curtain came in front of his left eye uh, there was no pain so he felt painless loss sudden painless loss of vision in the left eye when I examined him, his vision was 6-6 six, six in the right eye and counting finger in the left eye. On slit lamp examination, there was a poor glow. In the left eye, lens was clear, IOP was uh, normal. Then I confirmed the diagnosis of uh, vitreous hemorrhage on B scan. And uh, now here, uh, we are showing you one month back after the injection of Avastin that how clinically resolving vitreous hemorrhage looks like you can see these white drops uh, just like uh, tiny drops of rain they are floating uh, in the vitreous uh, and how the vitreous hemorrhage looks on the B scan so the strange thing in this case was that uh, the patient was non-diabetic, non-hypertensive and there was no history of trauma. The three most common causes of vitreous hemorrhage are trauma, proliferative diabetic retinopathy and posterior vitreous detachment with or without retinal tear. I dilated the normal eye fundus and thoroughly examined it for any sign of vasculitis because Eels disease peripheral peripheral retinal vasculitis is also a common entity in South Asia in our region in males but usually those patients are younger uh, than our patient the other less common causes of vitreous hemorrhage are wet AMD sickle cell retinopathy Tursen syndrome in which vitreous hemorrhage is accompanied by subarachnoid hemorrhage i have also seen vitreous hemorrhage in few people taking anticoagulants and antiplatelets so these are the causes of vitreous hemorrhage you can see the resolving vitreous hemorrhage in the vitreous cavity and upon movement of the eye you can see the flow of these tiny resolving blood metabolic waste products how they look like uh, hemorrhage into the vitreous body results in a rapid clot formation and clears at a rate of one percent per day diagnosis is a clinical you uh, history is very important there will be a history of trauma diabetic retinopathy or other above mentioned diseases uh, with sudden painless loss of vision and red hue or curtain like effect poor fundal glow and confirmation can be done with B scan. The treatment is treat the underlying cause, uh, avoid the exercise or uh, strenuous activity and for the heat vitreous hemorrhage uh, you can observe uh, for clearance uh, if adequate view in proliferative diseases you can do pan retinal photocoagulation to address the cause then you can give monthly anti vegf injections like in our case the vitreous clears fastly with anti vegf injection and you can do pars plana vitrectomy if non clearing dense vitreous hemorrhage are associated with retinal detachment or intraocular foreign body so that was all about the vitreous hemorrhage that you must know. Thank you very much.